Hi, this is Luke Brewster. Uh, this is Mufasa, uh, the number one hunter killed whitetail. Um, grows 337 and 1 8, 327 and 7 8. So every year I head out to Illinois to uh, hunt with some buddies on some farm family land. We first got pictures of him in previous years and uh, kind of knew he was going to be something special. Uh, come 2018, uh, after receiving the first trail camera pictures of him, we knew that we had really something on our hands and uh, it was just a matter of time before uh, he showed up in front of one of us. So in the morning of uh, November 2nd, uh, me and my buddies got down from the tree stands and uh, went to breakfast. Uh, we started discussing uh, stand locations, ones that have been taken down, ones that have been put up. And my buddy Justin had told me of a stand that was um, Hadn't been sat in in about five years. Uh, it was kind of connected to the same woods that uh, we had pictures of them on. It was about a mile south. I got there kind of early around 12, 12.30ish. So with the uh, general idea of where I know where the stand is at, um, I knew it was gonna be kind of tricky getting, getting to it. I've got to avoid the uh, field edges and uh, a specific point where I know a lot of deer uh, like to bed, especially does. I walk through the middle of the field and make a beeline straight for the, the, the field edge where I knew the stand was located. I walk a good distance and uh, I'm having trouble finding the stand. You know, I've never sat in it before. I was kind of uh, trudging all over the area, uh, kind of looking for the stand where, where it was at. It was in an Osage orange tree and it was pretty well hidden. So any deer hunter knows you don't want to be trudging around, leaving your scent everywhere. and. Uh, I finally find the stand and uh, go ahead and climb up in it. Catch some movement to my right. I'm looking through my binos and uh, I see a few does coming through. Um, they're acting a little weird. I thought they were winding me. Uh, I had a northwest wind. Uh, the wind kind of swirls and they, I thought maybe they had you know, caught me. Um, they're kind of uh, bobbing their heads and high stepping. Uh, little did I know they were actually watching another deer come in. Um, as soon as I brought down my binos after I lost them in the thicket, uh, I see uh, a deer out of the corner of my eye and uh, ends up being Mufasa. Walked right through the trail that I had trampled over trying to get to the stand. Gets to a scrape that I ranged at 26 yards and uh, he starts uh, licking the branch above him and pulling the dirt. Um, by that time I had my bow and uh, picked a spot on where I wanted to shoot. So based on this experience, this is a good reminder on how important scent control really is.